Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to our channel. My name is Aaliyah and today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup routine. So, let's get started. Okay, so I just went to my face. Um, now I'm going to do skincare. So I use the same uh, face wash that's in my new routine. And I'm going to do toner. It's pretty much the same routine, just different serums. So the first toner is this one again. So same thing, just apply it with my hands. <clears throat> and then next, I use this eye cream from the Ordin- Nope, 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 from Good Molecules. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be flipped. But it's the Wake Up Gel. They're still kind of there, but I have like really dark circles under my eyes. Okay, so next I'm going to use the Good Molecules Daily Brightening Serum. Um, this also has hyaluronic acid in it, so I apply it on my skin that's still wet. I do like a full syringe, but <laughs> like a full, a full dropper's worth. And then, I don't know why, but, and then you just pat it into your skin. And then one more. Um, I'm not entirely sure. This... Actually, I lied. My skin has looked a lot better since I started using this. Um, it's from Peach and Lily. It's the glass skin serum. I don't use it exactly as directly, but I just put it on top of this. Okay, so next I'm going to do moisturizer. Same one from Night Routine. Uh, Rouge Blue Moisturizer. I'm almost out of this as well, but I have a bath. I need to stop looking here and I need to look here. Okay, so next is sunscreen. I use the Black Girl sunscreen. Um, it is my favorite sunscreen. I've been using this for probably three years now. Uh, you can get it anywhere. Uh, they have it at Ulta, they have it at Target. Um, but I love this one because you can put on literally as much as you want and you will not have a white cast. It will always blend out. And then it doesn't leave me greasy. It leaves me, I would say, more glowy. So we're just going to put this all over your face. And then yes, your circular sunscreen. There's it. You're also supposed to be applying. Not good on that part. But, but anyway, that's that's the skincare. So now I have to let my skincare set over a little bit. So while my sunscreen is setting for about five or ten minutes, uh, I'm gonna leave it just for school. Okay. So quick fit check. The top is from Mirage, and the jeans are my jeans from Airpostel. Shoes, I don't know yet. And also, I'm wearing the bonnet because I did a silk press and I'm just really trying to keep it for as long as I can. So, I don't want to feel wet with like setting spray or anything. So, that's why I keep the bonnet on. Um, but now we're going to start with the makeup routine. So, first, I'm going to do lip liner, my favorite lip liner, the Satu Stay In Lip Liner. Um, so this one is in the shade Hazel. Uh, okay, I think, no. No, we're gonna do Mauve today. So we're gonna do Mauve. It's Mauve. Um, it's like a redder version of the Hazel one. Okay, I can't. I gotta do it. I gotta, I gotta take the mirror. I'm sorry. Okay. So I like to overline the center. Of my lips and then like follow the inner line for the outside of my lips so that it looks more pally and full. So next I'm going to what is next? I'm gonna do eyebrows. So this is the brow freeze that I got in I think one of the first videos and I never did a review of it. But overall I really like it. It really holds my brows in place. So I just clean my eyebrows with a q-tip and make sure there's nothing on it, no skincare or nothing. And then I went with the free show. So next, uh, I'm gonna go in with. No, actually, what I was supposed to do first. So next, I'm gonna go in with my primers. Um, this was supposed to go before this stuff. But it's okay because we can still do it now. So for my primers, I like to use. Oh, uh, there's makeup on it, but it's the Elf. Um, the poreless primer, but the liquid version because I have nails, so I don't like taking 
in the solid version, but they look the same to me. Um, I honestly don't tell the difference. I just like the song more because it's more convenient. So I take a little bit and then I only apply it to the center of my face because that's where I put my makeup. Okay, and then I also use another primer because if I'm doing makeup, there are times that I do makeup, I want it to stay out all day. So I use another e.l.f. primer because e.l.f. Elf is amazing. They have this powder primer, I use the pink one. I honestly don't really see a difference between the original one and the nice and mine one. I just got it because it's pink. So I use this one. I think I also have the other one. But I just take a little bit and then again apply it to the center of my face. On top of the other one because these do work together. It's literally called a power grip primer. So this is going to grip onto your makeup. And my lip liner is already clean. And then the final primer, primer, um, I just use a setting spray, so it's the Milani Make It Last setting spray all over the face. Now, while it's drying a little bit, I, I would usually do the eyebrows and the lip liner, but since I've already done it, we're just going to go straight into the makeup. Um, so first, I like to use a bronzing stick. I use one by Fenty. This is in the shade Truffle. Truffle. I just take a brush. This is the e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. I just go with a brush on top of the stick so that I don't rub it directly on my face. And then I pick up a good amount of product. I usually apply like right along this line. And then I get up to my cheek a little to blend it. And then I follow pretty much the outer perimeter of my face. Take whatever's left on the brush and I just go on the outside of my nose. Uh, I'm not really trying to contour, it's just for the color. So next, I'm going to do the concealer, so I like, I guess I like it for now, um, I'm just waiting until I get rid of the bottle, but it's the Too Faced Blonde Spray found it, or Blonde Spray Concealer, um, it's alright, uh, it's alright, I just don't like it because it doesn't work with a beauty blender, I have to use a brush, um, and then also it does crease, look at the, look at the shape, and like how perfectly it fits in that little corner. So it's the Rare Beauty, I don't know exactly what the brush is called. I think it's the concealer brush. It's a smaller version of their foundation brush. And I love this brush, I have two of them. So I just go very slowly, like I take my time blending my concealer. So I just, I don't like to put it directly into my eye. I'm just gonna follow this line right here. And then I'm just gonna follow an invisible eyeliner line so that it's lifting my eye. Okay, so that's fully blended out this side, and we're just gonna do the other side. So my favorite part of it is the blush. And my absolute favorite blush is this Floron by Patrick Ta. Yep, Patrick Ta. I love these. I love these blushes so much. This one is in the shade. Nope, this is the wrong one. I don't want to say. Okay, this one that I'm going to use today is in the shade She's Flushed. And what I like about these is it's pink, first of all, and second of all, boom, both of them. I think this is $34 for both. Yeah, $34 for this one. And you get the cream brush, clean clips. And you get the cream blush, and you get the powder. So I use another e.l.f. brush, um, this one is I think the buffing, no, it's like an ultimate blending brush, the label's off, but I'm pretty sure it's the ultimate blending brush. So I just go in with the cream side on the brush, I just tap a little bit. And these are very pretty clean, so you don't want to just like all over the place, just get a little bit. And then I can push that, so I just put it mainly like right here, that's just where it's going to go. And then I'm going to bring it a little bit more towards the center of my face just so that it's blended out a little bit. It's a little bit softer. 
but I'm mainly focusing it on the outer side of my face because I just think that looks best for my face shape. Okay. okay, and then again for the other side. Okay, and then excess I just take on the other underside of my nose and then on the bridge of my nose. And then a little bit on like the center of my forehead and then on my chin. Now that's all the cream products, so now we're gonna set with that same setting spray and then I drench my face. Okay, so then I go with the lash curler with my uh, pop eyes in. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to use this mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, this one my bestie got me. Yeah. Yeah. I think she also got me the same too. No, she did get me one, but I use it all. But I always mascara. But sorry. <laughs> this thing is so good. I just take on the brush and then I wipe off the little clump that's usually on top so it doesn't ruin my makeup. And then I start on the outer parts and then work my way inward. So this is just why I love this mascara. Look at that. So we're gonna do the bottom lashes. Um, these, I don't like super long bottom lashes so I literally just do that. Like I just tap it so that it's as dark as the top lashes. Okay, so now my face is dry. So I'm gonna go in with, this is the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. Um, in the shade Medium 4 Finger Powder Puff that we got from Teemo Hall. So I just go in with the powder side on the pad and then I go right under eye and then light presses because I don't want it to wet. So I'm just setting the concealer with powder. I like the sound it makes. So next I'm gonna go in with loose powder and then this helps avoid creases and then it also gives like a flawless like, little finish. So I take some on the powder puff and then I dab on my hand so that it's evenly distributed. And then I just go in everywhere like put the flat color powder. I'm not baking because I, every time I bake, it's a bad experience and I always get flashback and I then no. I'm just gonna go over it with the rest of my face with powder. This is the Brand Danielle. It's their powder brush. So I'm gonna go in with the powder side again. Um, I only use this top part when I'm going to like the club or something, but I'm only going to school today. So we're just gonna go with the powder. And I'm gonna put it everywhere on my face and then also dusting off that excess baking powder. So now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go on with the powder bronzer. So pretty much what I do is I just set everything that I did in liquid with powder so that it stays longer. I think I got this brush from an Ipsy box, um, but it's a it's an angle brush pretty much. And then I take, this is the Morphe X Avani Greg uh, bronzer. This is the only bronzer that I use in like the past since COVID. This is the only bronzer that I've ever used. So I just put this everywhere that I just put the other bronzer. Okay, and then I can thing, take the excess on the edge of my nose, or on the outer bridge of my nose, and I just outline what I already have. Okay, and then almost done. Now I'm gonna take the powder brush, so just the powder. And then this brush is from Real Techniques. It's their blush brush. You can't see that, but it's the blush brush. So I just take a little bit on the brush, top off excess, and then it's the exact same place where the other one was. So I just uh, lick my finger and then clear off the center, like the tip of my nose, and then also the center of the bridge of my nose, so that it gives the illusion that I contoured, but I really didn't. And then I just take like the side of my finger and kind of clean up that bronzer line it looks a little bit clean and then again the setting spray and then we're gonna go with another setting spray usually i would use the one size one but it's been sold out every time i went to go get it and i'm almost out of this one so i've been saving it but the replacement it's not i wouldn't say this is a dude because it's not exactly like it but it's not a first of all it's hard to open um the other one is like a powder this one is like an actual like spray 
um, and it smells like hairspray. But the longevity, I'm not too sure. It holds up really well, like it'll stay for the entire day. But, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not a fan of it. I like the ones that are. I don't know why I'm complaining, but anyway, I go in with this one on top. Okay, and then we just let it dry. So while it's drying, we're gonna do the lip combo really quick. Today, I want to use the Tarte Maracuja. I'm acting like I don't know the name. I have like six of these. I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plumper um, in the shade Honeysuckle. This one has gone viral multiple times because it's really good. It's like the perfect color. I just describe my lips. Okay. The thing is, I really want to use this lip gloss. It is my lip. It's brown lip gloss with pink glitter. It's by Fenty Beauty. It's in the shade Hot Chocolate. My bestie got me this for my birthday and it is... Oh my god. Oh my god. I just want to use it. I just want to use it. So we're going to use it on top. I know it's a gloss on top of the gloss. But I want the pink glitter. I'm going to use it on top. My face is still a little bit wet. I'm just going to take down my hair. Okay, so final step. Uh, I'm going to take highlight. This is the Fenty Beauty the Kilowatt Highlighters. I love these so much. No, we're going to go with the... So this one is in the shades Mohoney and Afternoon Snack. I'm going to take... Uh, this one is Mohoney. So like this one, the more... No, this one. The more like shimmery one and I just take it on the tip of my finger and I go on the tip of my nose and then on the nose bridge and then I just bring that out with my other finger and I take a brush it's wet and wild um p75 and it's just like a fluffy brush so I take the other one so I can make sack yeah it's this one and I take a little bit on the brush So that's it. I am done with my makeup. This is the finished look. I should have just... <sighs> I am just now realizing that I should have adjusted my light this entire time. But this is the finished look. Um, just my everyday makeup routine. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm just going to put on perfume and then put on my shoes and then get ready to go. But. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and then also hit the subscribe button down below. And then that's it. I think Destiny's uploading hers next week, so you guys should check that out. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.